Let's go on the beat with our head coach, Dave Wanstead. Great to be on set with Dave. <clears throat> you have experience getting guys through tough times, keeping the you know the eyes forward, as Matt Eberflus has been saying. But when you've lost 13 in a row, and I know it's only half the roster, this starts to get tough, Dave. I mean, there's no doubt about it. it absolutely, because uh, you know what happens when when you're going through this. Uh, I don't know if they can come in and draw anything up on the board that the players are going to look at and say, that's the solution, if you follow me. You know, if we just do this one thing, guys, we could have won those last two games. I mean, I, I think you look at special teams, uh, you look at offense, you look at defense. I mean, there's a lot of leaks right now in, in the wall at, that need to be patched. And, uh, you know, the, the, the key is, too, how you approach a game is so important. And when you're losing like this, uh, from a attention to detail in the meetings, I mentioned meetings, attention to detail on the practice field, injuries, those little bumps, well, co you know, it's still sore on me. Well, when you're winning, all of a sudden, boy, everybody, you know, everybody's right. on the edge of their chair. The, the injury things aren't a big deal. They want to get back out there again. So, so you're battling the opponent, but you're also kind of battling internally some things that can creep up on you. So speaking to all of that, Luke Getze talks today, and I don't know how much the p players pay attention to what's being said at press conferences, but he says we left seven or eight explosive plays out there. Seven or eight saying basically, hey, I'm putting you in position. You guys aren't getting it done. That's, yeah. a, that's a tricky game that he's playing right there. Well, it, it, it can be, but I promise you they've watched the tape, and they probably put the tape on, and, and all coaches have done it. I've done it, and I would say, hey, is, is this a play? Are we capable of making this play? And, and if we're not, tell me right now, guys, and we won't call it anymore. So, uh, you know what? I promise you this. Every player on the Denver Broncos team coming in here is playing for his job, you know, and maybe all the coaches too, because Sean Payton is not going to put up with what he went through last week, obviously against the Cowboys. So, you know, you need to have a sense of urgency and you need to have a crisis sometime. And maybe that's what Luke is referring to, that that's what's been going on behind closed doors. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, giving up 70 to the to the Dolphins, mm. Vance, Joseph, your job might be on the line with Sean Payton, who, by the way, has been 0-3 three times. He's come back to be 7-9 and in each of those years when he was coaching the Saints, So, which makes me worried about Denver here. But I, I want to talk about close or not close, because, you know, Matt Eberflus is up there. Yeah. We're close. We're, we're, we're right there, guys. And, I, and, and these guys know that perhaps they're not, or maybe they agree with them. And then Luke Getze today, are, are you guys close? Because you said seven or eight. He's like, I have no idea. Yeah. So what do you think about that part well, of the, the conversation? I, I think you can look at it and, you know, the DJ Moore catch. He'll probably make that where he drops the one on the sideline. That, that's one that you say, hey, we're close. We made a nice throw. We had the protection. I can give you another play where all of a sudden the protection, if we hold him for one more second, uh, Justin's going to have a chance to throw it. You, that would be a play. Guys, can we block these guys for another second or half a second? If we do, we're going to make a big play. Uh, Justin Fields. Justin, we put a fullback in. We put two tight ends in. We can't get any more blockers in there. We double, we're doubling everybody. We got two guys going out for passes. It's not going to be open for long. But it is open right now. Can you make that throw? you got to get the ball out. We're, it's right there to be had. And we don't throw it. He tucks it and scrambles. So, I, I, you know, I kind of get that, that you could go around the room and you could call these guys out and just say that that's how close we are, that if everybody just does their job a little bit more, there's plays to be made. Whether it's going to be enough to beat Kansas City on the road, I don't think that's the point. But 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 to at least make it a ball game, right? Right, right. That and and now you've got Denver here. Yeah. Uh, all right. Let's lean into the quarterback. How concerned one to ten? You can go all the way up to 100 if you want. Are you for Justin Fields? About Justin Fields? Well, every week a, a little bit more. I, I think, you know. You know, everyone's talking, and I'm going to make a little reference here about Zach Wilson with the Jets. What do they do with the quarterback there? But they have a top five defense in the league. We don't. Uh, 
I'm not so sure that what Justin needs to do is just go out there and the Bears need to call these plays and say, throw it. If you throw three picks, you <laughs> throw three picks. But let it fly. If you don't like it and you want to run on every play, run on every play. Uh, give us what you have best. And, and then let's see how the game turns out. And then at least at the end of the day, the Bears coaches will say he can or he can't do it. Right now, I don't have a real great feel for if he can be that quarterback when we're down by two scores to bring us back and win a game because we, haven't, we can't never get in that situation. So it's tough to evaluate him and say, yes, he can or no, he can't. And we gotta, he's got to take more shots. And I got to see more down the field throws. I, I got to see him, you know, scramble a little bit more. I got we, he's got to be more productive to even evaluate him, in my opinion. I, I mean, I've had the same thought. Like, hey, just throw. I don't. I'm, I'm telling you, I don't want you to. But I don't care if you throw three interceptions. It's okay. I just want to see the ball going down the field. All right, let's boil all in what we just done. Who wins on Sunday? Do the Bears get their first win, Coach? You know, my heart is saying I hope, I want them to. But I tell you what scares me, and everybody's banging on Denver. Look close at what Russell Wilson's doing. Now, their defense is terrible. They're 32nd in the league in defense. But Russell Wilson has six touchdowns, two interceptions, and a 100 quarterback rating. Russell Wilson is playing good football, not Pro Bowl football, Hall of Fame football, but he's playing good football for the quarterback position, and that's why I think Denver has the edge. I mean, to back you up, Coach, if you look at Wilson's stats and yeah. the guy last week, Patrick Mahomes, they're identical in essence. So, uh, yeah, that's a concern. It's a tough one. Yep. Dave, great to be with you. Always.